this video, I'm going to show you how to insert a page that's formatted differently to the rest of the document. And again, you can do this using the section break feature. So let's say, for instance, you have a very wide table within your document and you want to include this table on a horizontal page rather than having it on a vertical page. You can insert one horizontal page without necessarily changing all the pages within your document to that horizontal layout. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my third chapter, for instance, and just include a small table as an example. What I need to do is I need to isolate the content that's going to go on the landscape page between two section breaks. So I'm going to insert a section break before the content and then I'm going to insert a section break after the content. And that will then allow me to format that section within the document. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure that my cursor is within this new section that I've just created. And then I'm going to change the orientation of this page under the layout tab. So here you can see that the page is now horizontal, although the pages that come before and after it are still vertical. One problem that you're going to pick up here if you formatted your numbers using the section breaks option is that you you'll see that word keeps restarting the numbering each time you insert a new section. So you just need to format those numbers again so that the numbers can continue. So I'm going to insert my cursor into this section and then format my page numbers. And I'm going to say continue from previous section. So this will now be page four. And then I need to do the same for this section, which is also restarting at one. So now you can see that my numbers continue from page three, four, five, and six. If I disable the pull crow sign, you can then see the clean version of my document.